Hi all, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use the IKEA smart bulbs on the Philips Hue home hub bridge thing. This is a great option if you've already bought the Philips Hue hub, you've got the app working, you've got a couple of bulbs with the starter kit and you want to add more, but the price of the Philips Hue bulbs has made you have second thoughts. Um, but luckily the IKEA bulbs, they do work with the Philips Hue app. But you can't add them directly in the Philips Hue app. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, you're going to need to get a app off the app store called Hue Essentials with this logo here. Uh, I will put a link to the, uh, the thingy on the Play Store in the description. Um, so if you open that, you can connect it to your hub. Um, I've already connected mine here, but once it's connected, you'll see down the bottom in devices, your hub will say show here. And it'll say connected, and it'll show you everything that's in your Philips Hue app. You can use this as an alternative to the Philips Hue app, but this has a method for connecting third party bulbs, which the Hue app does not have. So that's what I'm showing you. I've uh, got my IKEA bulb here. Um, can I open that up and take it out. Pamphlets, bring with them. So this is the IKEA bulb. Got the IKEA logo on the side. You can see the circuitry in the bottom. We can see it's a GU10. That's the fitting. So this is great in like uh, your kitchen, your bathroom, that type of thing. Spotlights. Um, this is only a <laughs> just saw that then it said 80 lumens uh, but on the box is 400 lumens then I noticed it's 400 lumens per watt it's a 500 uh, sorry 5 watt bulb it's pretty power efficient uh, so what I'm going to use set this up is I've just got like a little desktop lamp that takes a GU10 fitting so I'm going to pop that bulb in there there we go it's already on so there it is let's put these metal feet away that's that. Okay, so what we can do, power it on and off a few times. And then we're going to open up the Hue Essentials app. We're going to press the plus down the bottom, our under devices. We're going to add a new light. We're going to connect it to our Philips Hue Hub, which is there. So you've got three options here. We can search for lights, that's an uh, entry serial number and touch link. This is the option that's not available in the Hue app itself. Search for lights doesn't always work with the IKEA to Hue. Um, need this enter serial number because I don't think there's a, a compatible serial number for the bulbs to the hub. So not a lot happens, but we won't be using this touch link. So it says here, pair your new light by holding it close to your bridge and press touch link. When your light flashes, press search for lights button. So what the IKEA lights do, they don't flash, they just dim up and down very slowly. Uh, it's quite subtle, but it'll dim right down once uh, once it's ready to work. So we're going to press that. This does take a couple of attempts. There we go. First time lucky. So it's dimmed right down now. Now it's dimmed dimming. Now we can press search for lights and we've got dimmable light one. Great. And it's turned off. Perfect. So what we're going to do, go back and we're going to scroll in here. We're going to look for, there it is. Look for the one we've just added. We can go in there. We can press this little light symbol on the bottom, a little flash, just to confirm it is that one. So you can give it a name here. I'm going to call it study up light um because i'm going to i'm going to put it behind my computer screens as an up light so let's do that and now we can switch back to the philips hue app and by default you're going to see the home page which has all of your rooms in it but what we're going to do is go into the room you want to add the bulb see i've only got the main one in here at the moment 
we're going to edit the room by adding, well, not edit the room, press the three buttons, add lights, and we have an unassigned light, which is our study up light. Great. So we're going to click, tick that, press done. Now we've got two bulbs in our in this room. Um, got my main light and the new one we just added, so we can turn that on and he's on. And that's that within the Philips Hue app. Uh, we can go back to the main page. We can turn all lights on in the room. Can't confirm the big light behind me has come on. The big light's colour run, that's why there's a bit of a gradient going on. Um, and dimming works just fine. I'll turn the big light off. We can go into the individual bulb. This color wheel is here, but only because I've got um, the other light is a color bulb. We can so dimming works absolutely fine with the IKEA bulbs within the Philips Hue app. So that's just a way I, that uh, if you want to add more bulbs to your Philips Hue bridge don't want to pay the Philips prices but want the functionality of the app that's how you do it um, so these will work with all of your custom rules that you may build within well custom rules automations as they like to call it it will work with all of these and it works just fine and it's a lot cheaper so where you've got fittings that require four eight bulbs um, and if you went on the Philips Hue route it will cost you upwards of over £100 to kit out that light fitting. You can do it for less than half the price with the IKEA bulbs. Thanks. Hope you find that helpful.